Does anyone have a spare lighter? I'm out of fluid, and I'd really like to light one up before we begin. Too late, Master. It's already recording. Ah. Uh, whatever. You really shouldn't be doing that so soon on the show, Master. You're not setting a great example for our youth. Well, I have to do something to tolerate you imbeciles. It's bad enough I had to train you for ten years. I didn't expect to have to hang out with you constantly afterwards. I mean, no other Jedi Masters constantly have missions with their old Padawans. That's just because you work so well with Anakin. You help tame his impulsive behavior. <sighs> Who invited this woman? Why'd you emphasize woman like that? Because she's a psycho. I doubt she's even a real woman. Psycho? Look who's talking. Obi-Wan, I know we didn't talk about this, but I'm not comfortable having Padme on the show anymore. Not since she buried me alive. Oh, shut up and deal with it, Annie. You don't have to be such a baby. You'll have to get over it, Anakin. Padme is as much a part of this show now as you or I. Besides, she's your wife. You need to forgive and forget. She's not my wife anymore. I already signed the divorce papers. Well, I haven't signed them yet, though, so we're still married for now. What? Why would you do something like that, Anakin? I don't care what Padme did to me. I'd deal with it just to have a chance to smash. Ah, uh, thanks, Ahsoka. But you're too young for me. Ugh, Ahsoka, please not today. I thought you got all that energy sorted out when you visited the 501st last week. Eh, not really. The 501st are starting to really creep me out. They make little models of me in tight bikinis and put them in jars of milk. I... I don't know how to process this information. They do that to me, too. I was thinking of heading over there for a session after I signed the divorce papers myself. You wouldn't dare. Why would you care? According to you, I'm not your wife anymore. I care because I don't want my troopers contaminated with your loosey-goosey. Please, please, please stop this. I fear even my death sticks aren't enough to stop my migraine today. I'm sorry, Master Kenobi. Maybe we can find a guest that will cheer you up? That seems unlikely. I can't remember the last time we interviewed someone that didn't end in disaster. Trust me, Master. I know exactly who to get from the world between worlds. I'll be right back. Hmm. At least she knows how to treat her man. What the hell are you talking about? Takes one to know one. What? I know you are, but what am I? Anakin, if you're going to be an idiot, at least try to make some sense. I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. Ugh, I'm still not signing those divorce papers, Anakin. I don't care how much you try to make me hate you. We're dragging this out. It'll happen, my old sweetheart. You will sign the divorce papers. I will sign the divorce papers. Here's a pen. What a responsible use of your powers, Anakin. And here's the paper. Sign here? Yeah, right there. All right. Ow! Pad me! What the hell? You think you can use one of your little Jedi mind tricks on me? Sucks to suck, Anakin. You're stuck with me. Owie. Did you have to make it hurt so much? Obi-Wan, can you kiss my boo-boo? No. And we're back. Go ahead and say hello. Well, hello there, my old friends. It's lovely to see you all again. Whoa, this dude is ancient. He's got to be at least 30. I think he's a bit older than that. Well, I'm a crisp 57 years young. Thanks for asking before you judge. Well, who are you? You do seem familiar. Do I know you? Well, of course you know me. I'm you. You're Obi-Wan Kenobi? At 57? Geez, and I thought he looked old in the present. I know, right? He looks like he's 90 or something, at least. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. Like three or four years. That's not a long time. Old Obi-Wan, would you kiss my boo-boo? Ah, uh, Anakin. Of course, my boy. It's so nice to see you. You can stop now. Oh, my apologies. Hmm, old Obi-Wan, can you kiss my boo-boo? Of course, dear. When did Ahsoka get injured? I don't think she was. I'm old Ben Kenobi and I'm here to say, coming at you from a galaxy far, far away, Zenja's got a Patreon, a place to be. Join the crew, let's rock, it's the place to see. Zedra's Patreon, don't be missing out. Support the content, scream and shout. From lightsabers to memes, it's all so cool. Join up now, don't be a fool. What the actual fuck? I don't know if I'm more disturbed by that rap, or the fact that you just kept kissing Ahsoka. I'm just trying to be hip and cool. Like back in the olden days, you know? 
Please don't do that anymore. I prefer when you're old and grumpy. I don't know. The kisses kind of felt good. Asuka, stop being horny. It was just for your boo-boo. Ugh, fine, but just this once. Oh, you poor girl. You don't deserve what happens to you. What? What happens to me? Oh, terrible, terrible things. Left to a life of a tragic, unwanted milf. Just like Padme. Oh, grow up, Anakin. What's this? I don't remember such hostility when I did the show with you three. You actually remember this talk show? Seriously? Well, of course. How could I forget such a riveting talk show? Our delightful conversations with Maul, Cody. Oh, and I need not mention that ravenous orgy we ended up having with Master Yoda and Plo Koon. I don't recall if that last one was for our videos, though. I don't remember any of that. Maybe it's our future? Oh, silly me. Spoiling the future for you. What did you mean by unwanted MILF? What's a MILF? Let's not go there. Uh, Obi-Wan, maybe don't talk about such things in front of Ahsoka. She's young. We try not to sexualize her. You can call me Ben. And don't kid yourself, Obi-Wan. You think of her constant- Hey! Would you look at that? It's time for someone else to say something right now, like Padme, perhaps. What should we discuss? Uh, I don't know. Don't try to redirect that to me. Ben Kenobi, huh? Sounds pretty boring. I actually like Obi-Wan better. It sounds more exotic. Oh, Anakin. You would know, wouldn't you? Oh, I miss your voice. Hey, wait a minute. If you're future Obi-Wan, does that mean you end up burning me alive? When we spoke to Darth Vader, he said you basically tortured me. Did I now? Oh, silly me. I can hardly remember that. But you can remember that I became an unwanted MILF? What's that even supposed to mean? Oh dear, relax. Your age right now keeps you in check. I suppose it's a good thing the Jedi Order collapsed before you became legal in our system. Yeah, Ahsoka's pretty unhinged lately, even more so than me. At least I don't murder children. Hey, I haven't killed a child in like three hours. Three whole hours? Well, my dear boy, that's very impressive. Thanks, Ben. See, Obi-Wan? At least your future self understands my needs. Ugh, I'm glad you found a version of me that gives a fuck. How did you age so horribly? If you're 57, then that's like, what, 17 years from now? Oh, well, when Cody found me on Tatooine, we started hooking up again. The poor soul was still affected by his accelerated aging, so I took some DNA-enhancing drugs myself. You made yourself age at double the speed for Commander Cody to feel less alone? Oh, that's kind of sweet. Anything for love, my old friend. So you were doing Cody behind the scenes? Oh yes, I admit it. He was definitely not doing laundry. He totally was. Was not. Was too! <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. He didn't do much laundry on Tatooine. It's good to hear you own up to it, Obi-Wan. It's nothing to be ashamed of. He's not so much ashamed of the action as he is of his own failures. What's that supposed to mean? Just a certain medical condition of the groin region. Ugh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Fair enough. I'm sure this is a very hard thing for Obi-Wan to talk about. With this knowledge, it must be difficult for him to get up in the morning. And some difficult growing pains, I'd imagine. Yeah, he must have a difficult time getting erect. Very subtle, Anakin. Thanks. So why Tatooine? Were you just trying to get away from Anakin or something? I couldn't blame you, to be honest. That definitely played a role. Vader would never seek me out on a sand planet. Just to hide from little old me? That doesn't seem right. You can be a lot to deal with, Anakin. Nothing personal, I'm sure. You can be a lot to deal with too, old man. But you don't see me running off to hide on some backwater planet. Oh, that reminds me, Anakin. You were really bitching about sand constantly. But to be honest, it's not so bad. I was expecting to live in agony for all this time, but instead it's been sort of nice. Ah, so he was overstating it. I figured as much. Oh, give me a break. It's still horrible. Don't act like you didn't get stuck walking through it. Horrible? Oh, there's no such thing. Get yourself a nice and plump P.O.P. and you'll traverse the desert just fine. What about me? If you know I become a desperate MILF, that means you had contact, right? Not necessarily. I just saw you on those galactic dating apps. And you were in a lot of them. So you were definitely desperate. Your pictures weren't very good, so that probably didn't help. Oh, well that's good to know, I guess. Don't dwell on the future, Ahsoka. It's not healthy. 
Like how I don't think about becoming Darth Vader all the time, even if it gets me really excited. Ugh, do you not understand why I wanted to bury you in sand, Anakin? You're genuinely excited to turn evil. It's scary. Oh, relax, Padme. It's a joke. It's not like I'm actually going to commit genocide. Didn't you just blow up an orphanage this morning for fun? That was three hours ago. I'm a new man now. A small price to pay for Anakin's mental health, I would think. What about my mental health, or, uh, our mental health? How did you cope with Anakin's homicidal tendencies? I did just that. I coped and seeded, and sometimes I even fucked your mother. My mother? Yes, I am talking to you. You fucked your own mother? Don't act like you won't fuck anything that moves, my old self. Gross. Obi-Wan, what is wrong with you? He's lying, I wouldn't dare. Looks like I'm not the only one who enjoys a little bit of incest. Shut up, Anakin. Hey, what? You can't say that. Only young Obi-Wan can say that. Shut up, Anakin. No, that's too much. Cut it out. Shut up, Anakin. Oh! Oh, dear. It seems we've scared him off. He's not a big fan of the marketable plushies. It's good to know his weaknesses. I can use those in the divorce settlement. Hmm. I don't seem to remember you two being separated. Padme, my old friend. Your leadership and passion were always such an inspiration to me. If you are splitting up, consider taking my hand instead. Whoa, what the fuck? What? An old man's gotta shoot his shot, right? Sorry, Ben. I'm not really interested. Just for the record, his interests don't align with mine. I think you're just as weird as Anakin. Anyone who's gone down on him is way out of my radar. Well, old self, perhaps you should reconsider your standards. Seeing you from this angle, I must admit, you aren't all the hot shit you thought you were. How dare you? I'm the best-looking Jedi on this side of the mid-rim. Oh, please, not when Quinlan Voss is still running around. Oh, he's pretty dreamy. Ugh, so much for the guests cheering me up. If anything, I'm now more fearful of my future. Don't be scared. There's nothing to fear about the inevitable nature of life leading you into a path you don't want to follow. Hmm, I guess we disagree on that. Of course, my dear Padme. We can change that. If you'd simply accept my hand. Dude, that's so gross. Knock it off. Trust me, you're not gonna riz up Padme. I've tried and she's strictly into nine-year-olds. People I met when they were nine. Ahsoka, huge difference. Whatever. Ugh, what's an old man gotta do to get laid these days? You try going 17 years without an orgasm. And see how you hold up. I thought you had Cody. Oh, I'm just a receiver. Besides... Cody passed away enough long ago. I'm sorry to hear that. You know something, Ben? You make me ashamed of myself. I didn't really ask, now did I? Where the hell is Anakin at? I need him to end the video. Anakin, get over here. We need you. As long as you promise not to turn into those plushies again, what do you want? Can you kill old me, please? Me? I would think I hardly deserve that. I mean, most of our guests definitely don't deserve it. You're asking me to kill you? I thought you'd never ask. Ahem, <laughs> hello? You're not killing anyone. Not with me here. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just remembered this meeting. You killed Padme, and then I tried to cup a feel before you... <laughs> all right, can we all agree to no more future selves as guests, please? No fair. We still need to meet my future self. Maybe one day, Ahsoka. But personally, I need a break from that, too. We should find someone more chill next time. Maybe even two someones. Uh, what are you talking about? It's called Metaphor Shadowing Master. Deal with it. Ugh, I'm going to get Padme back. No, let me get her. I got a question for her. Sign the papers now, or I'm killing you again. Fat chance. Thanks for watching this episode. It ended up being a longer one. Whoops. Special thanks to our insane tier patrons, Anakin Solo, Carter L, CDXX, Fudge Cake, Lionel Barina, Plus Gear, Thestral Pony, and Vasu Patel. Comment something about the sun if you made it this far. See you next time.